what happened on Saturday. It was brutal. We're grieving and we're worried and we're trying to, to figure out what's going to happen. It's been only days and it seems like an entire lifetime. I live in the center of Israel. On Saturday morning, around 7.30 a.m., Vivian is one of my mentors. She wrote in one of the WhatsApp groups, there are alarms here, we're hiding in our safe rooms. We were told that a terrorist invaded the kibbutz. About two hours later, she reported that a terrorist went into her house and she hid behind the closet door. We haven't heard from her since. And there is evidence that points to her being taken by the Hamas. And it's so, I mean, it, it, it's so absurd that, 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 that she's kept it by terrorists now, really. Peace was in her blood and every cell of her body. She's volunteering, driving sick people from Gaza to hospitals in Israel to receive medical care. She has been a peace activist for decades now in Women Wage Peace and in other organizations. Peace is possible, and you know that already. Women Wage Peace is grassroots movement. We operate all over Israel and our Palestinian sister movement, Women of the Sun, operate all over the West Bank and Gaza. And uh, even during these days, uh, we know that we need to keep this partnership because this is the only way. Only last week, we were in Jerusalem in the Dead Sea together, hundreds of Israeli and Palestinian women calling the leaders of both sides to begin negotiations before things escalate. It's very, very difficult for me personally and for all of us to, to maintain this hope and maintain this optimism, but this is the task that we took upon ourselves to preserve the hope, to know that it's possible because despair is not an option. And as Vivian said, uh, revenge is not an option and it will happen. Eventually there's going to be peace in this region. And the only question is how many people, how many children, how many men and women are going to die before it happens. We cannot live like this anymore. We deserve peace, all of us in this region.